Our Holy Prophet ﷺ, he is his most popular name. Before he was given the prophecy, ever since he was a child, is Al Amin, Muhammad Al Amin, the trustworthy, the secure one, the one who does not commit treachery, the non treacherous person. It means the one who does not lie, he has no lies. He was known as a person who never lied, even amongst people. He was known as such, and he was trusted. Allah made it this way so people may accept him, accept the Prophet ﷺ and follow him. He even showed this to people, but of course, they followed their nafs, ego and shaitan and most of them did not accept him. That's not important. What is important is to to keep the trust even the Prophet even, even after he was a prophet, he became a prophet, they still trusted him and they would bring their possessions and leave it as a trust with him. Because in the past there was no such place where when you had to leave a trust to somebody, they would leave it to trustworthy people. And even though they were enemies towards him, they still trusted him and left their possessions with him to keep it safe. And our Holy Prophet once after he migrated, because there were some trusts left, he assigned Hadrat Ali as a representative of those trusts and he asked him to give those possessions back to people and then come reach to him in, in Medina. And so once our Holy Prophet left Mecca, all the people got possession of all their trusts that they had left with him. This also is the most important thing for a Muslim, to keep the trust, to know the trust, to assign the trust to the worthy people. This is a great character. A quali great quality, and Muslims should apply this. But today's people are very few who do this, who keep the trust. They are treacherous most of the times to, towards the trust. But this is not. This doesn't just apply with possessions and money, but even with works. When you are given a certain position and you're in a job, it, when you don't do that job, you will not be keeping that trust and you're being treacherous towards that. And then you question why the state of the world is such. If everybody had kept their trust and everybody paid attention to their job and the would not become treacherous in a sense, it wouldn't be this way. This is important. Now some people also forget, so they might have received a trust to keep it safe for someone, yeah, so in order to overcome that as a kafara for it, in, in place of that they can give a sadaka instead of that thing. You could say, you could make the intention, well, if I had done anything 
to break that trust, I give this a sadaka to cover for that in response to that trust. And if you make such an intention, Allah will accept it. But if you do know, if you do know of the person, then you should definitely give it back to that person. If you don't, if you don't know, you might have forgotten or whatever else might have happened, then Allah will give you the person according to his intention and he will come out clean in the day of judgment without a burden on our necks, the burden of trust on our necks. Let's give it in this world, because if you do give it out in this world, it's different. But if they take it from you in the Day of Judgment, it's different. May Allah protect us from this. And for the honor of the Holy Prophet in this blessed month, let us be characterized with his qualities, inshallah. And may we do the good things, the beautiful things that he has done also, inshallah.